When it comes to industrial machines, big is often better. I mean, it makes perfect sense, considering some of the work these huge machines are expected to carry out on a daily basis. There wouldn't be much of a point having a flimsy bulldozer when you're trying to shift acres of dirt, would there? Not only that, but imagine if your gear was always breaking down. No one has time for that. Nope, you have to call in the big guns. From the steam hammer used for forging metal to a massive tree crusher, here are 15 extreme industrial machines ever made. Number 15. Steam Hammer Industrial Machine At first glance, this industrial machine looks like an oversized corkscrew. Instead, it is one of the largest destructive tools of the Industrial Revolution. Steam hammers, also called drop hammers, are tools of kinetic destruction. They're essentially a large hammer or piston used for the creation of metalwork. Driven by steam, the industrial hammer is used for shaping forgings and driving piles. It is almost always attached to a piston that slides within a fixed cylinder. However, designs do vary, and some are attached to a cylinder that slides along a fixed piston instead. The idea of a steam hammer was first discussed back in 1784 by James Wyatt. However, it wasn't until 1840 that it finally became available. Built to meet the needs of foraging increasingly large iron or steel components, the steam hammer proved to be invaluable in many industrial processes. In 1891, the Bethlehem Iron Company introduced a steam hammer that could deliver a 125-ton blow. Single and double acting hammers were available, with weights of their ram ranging from a mere 225 kilograms right through to a whopping 22,500 kilograms. 20th century hammers were gradually replaced by mechanical and hydraulic presses. However, some are still in use today. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. The World's Biggest Tree Crusher The Monstrous Le Tourneau G175 This monstrous piece of machinery was designed specifically for land clearing and is now a roadside tourist attraction. The only self-powered tree crusher, the G175 was manufactured by Le Tourneau and is capable of leveling swaths of forest in record quick time. These giant tree crushers were once used by the U.S. Army to level forests in Vietnam. Le Tourneau leased two of these vehicles to the Army in 1968. The Army sent them off to Southeast Asia when it was discovered that the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army were using the jungle foliage as camouflage. General Westmoreland had put his staff to work clearing the jungle as early as 1965, but the introduction of the G-175 was expected to be a game-changer. Unfortunately, they were anything but. In fact, they simply became the perfect targets for enemy troops. Weapons weren't assigned to the unit's crew for the first five months, so they were also defenseless under attack. The tree crusher's water cooling systems were damaged, resulting in the engine giving out, and they often got swamped in the jungle terrain. The news wasn't all bad for the massive machine. Under the right conditions, they did exactly what they were designed to do. They could sweep through four acres every hour, felling trees up to three feet in diameter and up to 50 feet high. Barreling through the forest, the G-175 could wipe out everything in its path. It just depended on the terrain. Number 13. Fractum Rock Breaking This high-energy impact breaking hammer is the largest in the world. Manufactured by Fractum, the rock breaker has an energy impact of up to 400,000 kilojoules per stroke. 
15 times higher than the energy released by the largest hydraulic hammer on the market. Now those are some impressive stats. Fractum manages a wide range of these hammers, all with energy levels varying from 80,000 kilojoules right up to this monster. But what do you use a hammer like this for? Well, they are mainly used for breaking rock, reinforced concrete, and steel waste, and are preferred by contractors wanting to use a piece of equipment that transmits little vibration back to the carrier. Fractum breakers are compatible with all popular earth-moving equipment, and they don't penetrate material in the same way as your traditional chisel on a rock breaker. They're a popular tool for those in the mining, quarrying, and construction industries and steel mill services looking for precision, safety, and unprecedented capacity. When breaking rock and concrete with a Fractum breaker, the load on the excavator is typically 50% lower than when compared with your typical hydraulic hammer. This fact alone increases increases the life of excavators, effectively reducing costs and increasing productivity. Number 12. World's Biggest Bulldozer – Komatsu D575A Dwarfing the average-sized man by over 10 feet, the Komatsu D575A has earned itself bragging rights as the largest operational crawler tractor in the world. It measures over 24 feet wide and 38.5 feet long, over three times the dimensions of your average family sedan. Boasting a whopping 1,150 horsepower and weighing close to 300,000 pounds, this industrial machine really is supersized. Everything about it is gigantic, even the amount of material it can move. What would take the average person approximately 720 trips with a wheelbarrow, the D575A can move in just one with its optional extra super dozer blade. Now that's impressive. The blade is a patented capacity blade that can move 125 cubic yards of material at a time. This accessory weighs in at a hefty 22,000 pounds and stands at 11 feet tall. But the tricks just keep coming with this hefty machine. Slap on a single shark ripper and the D575A can dig to a maximum depth of 6 feet 9 inches. This thing's a really handy tool to have, wouldn't you say? Shame it's so large. You would need quite the garage to house this brute. Number 11. World's Largest Snow Plow What's a bet Homer Simpson would have loved this piece of railroad snow fighting equipment? He would be more than the neighborhood hero he became in the ninth episode of The Simpsons' fourth season when he bought a snow plow and cleared his neighbor's driveway. This thing could clear a whole block in minutes, and that's including the houses. No amount of snow is left unturned when this plow gets started. Specifically designed for clearing railway lines, this giant plow is the largest in the world. Large circular blades on the front end allow it to cut through the snow on the track ahead of it with ease. Although it's a particularly handy piece of equipment, especially during the winter months when snow can stop travel on the railway, the snow plow is considered one of the least used pieces of maintenance equipment a railroad owns. It is also one of the most important. I mean, railway lines buried deep in several inches or even feet of snow aren't exactly helpful, particularly when a train needs to be passing by. Most diesel locomotives are equipped with small plows, but when the snow is heavy, the heavy artillery has to be brought in, and this guy gets an outing. Number 10. The Chain Trencher Trenchers are a piece of construction equipment. They come in a variety of sizes, from walk-behind to very heavy tracked models, and some may have attachments, depending on the required width or depth and hardness of the surface of the trench needing dug. They are used for digging trenches for laying pipes or cables, installing drainage, or in preparation for trench warfare. Chain trenchers can cut ground that is too hard to cut with your run-of-the-mill bucket-type excavator. Instead, they peel the ground open with ease like you would a banana. They cut into the earth with a digging chain or belt that is driven around a rounded metal frame or boom. 
These massive pieces of machinery resemble a giant chainsaw. Not only can they cut into hard ground, but they can also cut wide or narrow, deep or shallow trenches for the likes of telecommunication, electricity, drainage, water, gas, and sanitation. They are especially popular in rural areas. Once the material from the trenches has been removed, whether it be rock or dirt, it can be unloaded via conveyor belt onto the ground on either side of the trench. There really is no end to its skill set. It's no wonder it's so popular. Number 9. The Underground Mining Machine when it comes to mining, it is important that your equipment is top-notch. I mean, if you're deep underground, the last thing you want is for your machine to break down. Not only is it annoying, it's costly. If you can't get someone into the mine to fix it, you have to get it out of there. And time is money. This underground mining machine really is like no other. For one, it's massive. Imagine the vibrations it would create. I'd be concerned the whole place would cave in around me. Fortunately, most of these giants are remotely controlled by computers. These monster mining machines are specifically designed to work underground in the mining industry. They help miners access a variety of difficult seams and conditions. It has a large rotating steel drum that is equipped with tungsten carbide teeth that look like those of a T-Rex. These teeth can scrape coal from seam and tend to operate in a room and pillar system. This means that they work in mines that are divided into a series of 20 to 30 foot rooms or work areas that have been cut into the coal bed. The mining machine is capable of mining as much as 5 tons of coal a minute. That's impressive considering a 1920s miner would have needed a full day to achieve the same workload. Number 8. The Modern Lumberjack If you're in the market for a harvester, especially one that is versatile, efficient, and can guarantee the best productivity, a Ponce Timber Harvester might just be the way to go. Described as adaptable in any environment and ruthlessly efficient, this modern lumberjack eases the pain of what was once an incredibly physically demanding job. Chopping trees was once considered a man's game, and it was a job so tough that they still hold wood chopping competitions today in memory of the many who had to put in the hard yards. Today, things are a little different. In fact, no matter how buff you are, there is no chance of outlogging this monster. An all-terrain vehicle, the modern lumberjack is both mesmerizing and terrifying to watch. It chops down trees with such ease, making tree harvesting look like child's play. But there are no children watching this masterpiece at work. He is far too dangerous. Not only can he chop trees with extreme precision, he strips off their bark and branches and sections them into logs of a predetermined length in a matter of seconds. Let's face it, if you don't want to end up the same way, you better make sure you stand back to watch the master at work. Number 7. The World's Biggest Caterpillar 797F This big yellow beast is the world's biggest caterpillar. And I'm not talking about the cute little furry character found on the leaf of a tree. No, this giant is the Caterpillar 797F, and the only thing it has in common with the insect is the color of its wheels. They are black and big. In fact, they are so big that an adult man only measures halfway up the tread pattern. This machine has its feet firmly planted on the ground, but you won't see it on the highways and byways near you anytime soon. This industrial genius is reserved for off-road only. The 797F is an ultra-class, two-axle, mechanical powertrain haul truck. It was designed and manufactured by United States Giant Caterpillar Incorporated, specifically for high-production mining and heavy-duty construction applications worldwide. The third in the series, the 797F, is the largest and highest payload capacity haul truck that Caterpillar has ever produced. 
In fact, it is the largest truck ever. Unfortunately, although this beast is awe-inspiring to watch it work, unless you work in mining, it's unlikely you will ever see one. And that's a shame, particularly given the real thing is unbelievable. A monster truck, the Caterpillar 797F is quite the star, and is well worth a look, even if only for a selfie. Number 6. The Iron Monster SLJ932 With a name like Iron Monster, you would be forgiven for thinking this machine appeared in however, is simply one of endearment, a nickname if you will. Officially, this monster is labeled SLJ900-32 and is used for building bridges. An all-in-one machine that was designed by Shi Jiazhuang Railway Design Institute and manufactured by the Beijing Waozhong Machinery Company, the SLJ is capable of carrying, lifting, and placing sections of track and connecting pillars with pillars using heavy stone blocks. Weighing a whopping 580 tons and measuring 91 meters long and 7 meters wide, this colossal machine means business. In 2017, it was used to create approximately 2,100 kilometers of new rail line, 2,500 kilometers of double track lines, and 4,000 kilometers of electrified railways for the China Railway Corporation. The impressive machine is simply mesmerizing mesmerizing to watch as it wheels itself into place whilst an army of engineers work frantically below. This big job wasn't the machine's first rodeo either. It was also used to create 1,376 kilometers of high-speed railway connecting Chengdu to Guangzhou. With 64 wheels spread across four sections of 16, this colossal machine offers a totally new way to complete large bridge projects without the need for expensive and complex scaffolding and framework structures. It's no wonder it's such a hit. Number 5. World's Biggest Mining Saw Could you imagine a chainsaw so big it takes 27 people to operate it? That fact alone will give you some idea of just how big this machine is. Weighing in at a whopping 45,000 tons and with a blade the size of your average four-story house, it's easy to see why it needs so many hands on deck to operate. Costing upwards of 100 million US dollars to produce, these giant saws are considered the world's biggest. And if you're keen to see one at work, you might like to head to the world's biggest single coal mine, the Bogatir Mine near the city of Ekabastus in Kazakhstan. There, these extraordinary pieces of equipment are responsible for mining coal, something they can pretty much do in their sleep, it would seem. Whilst these hulking great masses of machinery only travel one mile every three hours, they can mine 4,500 tons of coal in less than one. This machine is not only a fine example of power and design, it is a real workhorse. It can slice its way through virtually anything, including huge mountains made entirely of coal, and it does it like your average household knife cuts through butter, with ease. It really does have to be seen to be believed. Number 4. The World's Most Powerful Forage Harvester Described as the most powerful forage harvester, the Krone Big X 1180 was introduced to the German market in 2018. It is the flagship of Krone's forager fleet and is equipped with a massive 24-liter 850-kilowatt Liebherr V12 engine. This fact alone has it labeled the most powerful harvester currently available on today's market. With this extra power, the Big X 1180 can produce greater throughput. Filled with larger diameter OptiMax 305 conditioning rollers, this heavyweight of the harvesting world is not to be messed with. The rollers have more teeth. These teeth are slanted at an angle that creates a unique shearing effect, ensuring an exemplary crop intake and intensive treatment, even in long chops. Buyers can also choose between teeth combinations for short, medium, and long chopping lengths. The Big X 1180 is fitted with camera-based
based 3D image analysis, allowing operators to select various filling strategies such as front to rear. Specific filling levels can also be programmed in. Optional sensors can be included, giving the user accurate data on the crop's moisture and nutrient levels. This machine truly is an all-rounder when it comes to harvesting, wouldn't you say? Number 3. The Cars Shredder Did you know there's a machine that eats cars? 450 an hour to be exact. Until today, I'd never heard of such a thing. I mean, there's the good old-fashioned car crusher, the one you're threatened with when you have too many driving offenses under your belt, but this piece of machinery is on a whole other level. The LYNXS Automotive Shredder looks very much like your everyday shredder, just on steroids. Its size would easily rival that of a modern-day Brontosaurus. But I guess it has to be big, given its primary role is to shred cars into tiny pieces. Firstly, the cars are crushed to reduce their volume. They are then fed into this machine, with some parts filtered out to stop the monster from clogging. Large chunks of metal pass through to the shredding area, then a series of huge, rapidly spinning hammers powered by a 40-ton, 11-kilovolt, 9,200-horsepower high-voltage electric motor tear the vehicle into fist-sized portions. So if you're attached to your vehicle but no longer drive it, this is not the place to send it. Here, it will die a painful death, literally eaten alive by a hungry monster that consumes roughly 250 tons of material an hour. Number 2. Bertha, the Tunnel Boring Machine. If you've ever heard the term Big Bertha bandied about, you may have visions of something rather large floating around in your head. So it's no surprise then that this tunnel boring machine is affectionately known as Bertha. She looks a lot like something out of a Thunderbirds episode, but is actually the world's largest tunnel borer. Bertha was specifically designed and manufactured to bore a 2.7 kilometer tunnel under Seattle as part of a 34.1 billion US dollar project to replace a viaduct. The viaduct was damaged in an earthquake in 2001. Measuring 17.5 meters in diameter, Bertha was manufactured by Hitachi Sozin Sakai Works in Osaka, Japan. Her assembly was completed in Seattle in June 2013. The work on the tunnel was expected to be completed by December 2015. However, due to repairs and maintenance work that had to be carried out on Bertha from damage and wear and tear, the project wasn't completed until April 2017. Number 1. World's Largest Vehicle at 740 feet long, 315 feet tall, and weighing over 31 million pounds, this machine is a beast. A beast so large, it has qualified for the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest in the world. Because of its generous proportions, the Bagger 293 can move a whopping 8.5 million cubic feet of Earth a day, equivalent to the length of a football field and over 80 feet below. The giant bucket wheel excavator is German-made. It was built in 1995 and requires a crew of five people to operate it. This crew also needs to be physically fit, as the machine has more than 2,000 steps and about half a mile of walkway. It isn't out of the question for members of the crew to have to walk over 6 miles per shift. Imagine that! A massive machine, the Bagger 293 was specifically built to scoop up earth and carry it away in its 18 buckets. These buckets can carry up to 6,600 liters apiece. That's a lot of dirt. Due to its size, the enormous excavator creates a scene wherever it goes. But when it comes to fuel economy, it's not exactly economical. Let's just say it's no challenge for a Prius, that's for sure. If you're breaking rocks, plowing snow, or even shredding cars, you want to know that the machine you're using is up to the task. Imagine being halfway through a job and it collapses from the strain. Not only would it be unhelpful, it could also be dangerous. Heavy machinery is used right throughout the globe in a variety of industries. 
From construction to agriculture and drainage to mining, big is best. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.